This snack food spokesperson was really a food scientist. And spent 20 years experimenting to create his product. Who was it? Find out next on Sarah's Wiki Corner podcast. It is time for Sarah's Wiki Corner. Sarah's Wiki Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hello. What are we learning about today on your Wiki Corner? Well, we are wrapping up our theme week on real people behind famous food brands. We've had some good ones so far this week. Yes. Dun- uh, Can oh, we, should I recap no, no. them? Yes, please. Duncan Hines, Captain Morgan, Chef Boyardee, and Little Debbie, all That's real people. right. All real people. You know who else was a real person? Who else? Orville Redenbacher. You're kidding me. The yes. Popcorn King. Yeah, the Popcorn King. The bow tie he man. wasn't just... The Popcorn King. No. He was a, an, actually a food scientist. Was he really? Yeah. Uh, the New York Times described him as the agricultural visionary oh. who all but single-handedly revolutionized the American popcorn industry. The popcorn industry would probably also gave a big boost to the corn industry in general, as well. Right, yes. In general, because I mean, right. you need that corn right. to pop it. Now, corn was domesticated about 10,000 years ago in what is now Mexico. Archaeologists discovered that people have known about popcorn for thousands of years. You're joking me. Fossil so evidence... Thousands, wait, thousands of years ago, people were just popping popcorn. Yep, absolutely. Uh, what were they doing while they... Because we watch movies while we eat popcorn. Maybe what they were, were they doing? telling campfire stories. Oh, it's... Well, scary it's stories. Scary. <laughs> just yeah. eating the popcorn. Yeah. Uh, fossil evidence from Peru suggests that corn was present there as early as 4700 BCE and popped there over a thousand years ago. The oldest definitive evidence for popping corn was discovered in New Mexico, determined to be as early as 3600 BCE. Jeez. How do they, like, they find, like, an old piece of popcorn buried somewhere? Is that what they found? A little found? Like, I don't know. Like, in the couch um, cushion? They're like, but where did this from? It was oh, 3600 years ago, right. sure. It was attributed to the ancestral Puebloan peoples who maintain trade networks with people in tropical Mexico. So Orville Redenbacher grew up on his family's farm in Indiana. He began growing popping corn at the age of 12 Mm. and started selling popcorn from the back of his car to earn money for college. He attended Purdue University, graduating in 1928 with a degree in agronomy. Agronomy? Agronomy. What is agronomy? Something to do with agriculture. Um, but he began his career selling fertilizer, but spent his spare time working with popcorn. In 1944, he began raising popping corn for supermarkets. And in 1951, he and a business partner, Charles Bowman, bought a seed corn plant in Boone Grove, Indiana. There they experimented with tens of thousands of hybrid strains of popcorn over the course of 20 years before settling on a hybrid that they named Red Bow, which was a combination of their last names. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. This new popcorn was light and fluffy, left hardly any unpopped kernels, and popped 40% larger than normal corn. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Yeah. That's the perfect popcorn. So the product was a hit regionally, but by 1970, Bowman and Redenbacher were ready for a national audience. So they hired a Chicago marketing company for $13,000 to advise them on brand strategy. Mm. At their first meeting, Redenbacher talked about popcorn for three hours. Really into popcorn. But they love that. Yeah. They uh, the love agen- that so much. The agency advised them to use Orville Redenbacher's own name as the name for their brand. Mm -hmm. Uh, Orville was hesitant at first and was fond of saying that his mother came up with that idea for free. (laughs) Uh, But it worked, obviously. (laughs) I can totally hear him saying that. Yeah, they launched their popping corn in 1970, and by the mid-70s, they had a third of the unpopped popcorn market. Wow. Yeah. Redenbacher starred in nearly all the brand's commercials until his death in 1995. Mm. He appeared as the company's official spokesman wearing a trademark outfit in public that included horn-rimmed glasses and a bow tie. He was so iconic that customers often wrote letters asking if Redenbacher was a real person. Really? They did, and not an actor. They felt there was an actor playing him? Yes. He responded to this by appearing on various uh, talk shows. He was even on To Tell the Truth in 1973, professing his identity. Ah. Yes. On September 19th, 1995, Redenbacher died in a hot tub of his condo oh. in Coronado, California. He suffered a heart attack and drowned. Oh. Very sad. Uh, he was cremated and his ashes scattered at sea. Mm. But today, Orville Redenbacher's is the number one brand in microwave popcorn, kernels, and oils in the U.S. In the U.S. 
Orville Redenbacher Popcorn still relies on the state of Indiana for much of its production. Oh. About a third of the 60,000 to 70,000 acres planted with popcorn in Indiana every year are growing for the Orville Redenbacher brand. Oh, goodness. That's great. Yeah. Big boon to the economy out there. Yep. Uh, you picked out a record to go along with uh, Orville Redenbacher, did you, Sarah? Yeah, so we're going to play Popcorn uh, by Hot Butter. It's an old favorite. Sarah, thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs> There we go. Do you like popcorn? Uh, I do. If I'm in the mood for it, I do. And yeah. It's got to be lots of butter. I know that's going to come as a, a, a shock. Do you do the microwave or do you do like the... Yes. Or the what? Well, I have a whirly pop. I have a whirly pop. <laughs> I have a whirly I pop, the, she says. whirly pop. How does the whirly pop work? Well, it's got a crank on this. On the, you got to crank it. And so it you just, spins the thing inside. So what do you do? Just put the kernels inside? Yeah, with oil. And the oil. You put it on the stove. And then you crank it. On the stove, like to heat it up, mm-hmm. and you crank it. No, while... just for fun on the stove. Well, I don't. It has to heat up somehow. So you heat it up, and when do you crank it? When it's on the as stove? Yeah. It, it. Do you crank it? As... The... You're doing a very vigorous crank. You have to guess. You have to crank it like a lot. Well, isn't it sliding <laughs> around the the? Well, there's a hand. You hold the handle, and then you crank with the other hand. How long do you have to involved. crank it? Not too long, usually. It feels like a long. It feels like longer than it is. Yeah. <laughs> but. Not you know you can just put it in the in the microwave, right? It's so much nicer in the whirly pop. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Like you can taste the difference. I don't know really, but I do I do like the whirly pop. Do you have to get special kernels for the whirly pop? No, just regular old kernels. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you say so. I mean, I believe you. The whirly pop. Yeah. I don't know why that stopped recording. What? Or when it stopped recording. Oh. Hmm. Did it maybe not get the whole thing? Uh, it's two hour, two minutes and 16 seconds, so probably not. Oh. Oh, we're out of disk space. That's going to be the... Oh. Uh... Well, now I know why it stopped. Do we... Can we fix that or no? Yeah, but not for today. <laughs> That's, a, That's problem a problem for, for after this. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? Yes. Oh, oh do you have my... Yes. You have my you words? You probably need, the, need that. Home. What do I say... It took 20 years of research and development. Oh, develop to to develop their hybrid strain. Oh, wow, that's a lot of words today. Okay, you let's can do, do it. it. You can do it. Thank you. Thank I have you faith for your in you. Just go read it slow. Use your. Legends 1027, the biggest hits in the history of the world. This group's called Hot Butter. The song's called Popcorn. Sarah, do remind us why did we just play that record? Because we were talking about. Orville Redenbacher yes. to uh, finish up our theme week on real people behind famous food brands. Let's uh, recap three things we must take away from today's Wiki Corner. Are you ready? Ready. Go. All right. Orville Redenbacher started growing popcorn on his family farm at the age of 12. It took 20 years of research to develop their hybrid strain of popcorn that popped 40% larger than normal corn. And Orville Redenbacher starred in nearly all of the brand's commercials until his death in 1990. It does. I mean, the name is so unique yeah. that it does sound like maybe it's a made-up name, right. Orville Redenbacher. But and, then he, you, and he looked so unique he, that you would think that that was like someone in a costume. He did. Right? Like, With the glasses. Is this was suspenders as well? I, I, I don't shirt? know. Definitely a bow tie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Orville Redenbacher. Yeah. Very good. Uh, folks want to learn more about Orville Redenbacher. Sarah, where do they go? What do they do? Well, you can go to my wiki blog. Yeah. If you go to legends1027.com yeah. on the homepage, there's a link that takes you to my blog where I post everything I talk about every day. <clears throat> It's all right there. You can check it all out, and you can check out the entire series. Duncan Hines, Captain Morgan, Chef Boyardee, Little Debbie, and Orville Redenbacher. And these are also posted in video form That's right. up on YouTube. Yes, on our YouTube channel. YouTube channel. But we do this live on Facebook every afternoon now, so you can tune in there as well. Wonderful. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much for coming in today. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a wonderful weekend, all right? You too. And back here Monday for more. Absolutely. More of something. Traffic and weather on the way, peaches and herb, and much more straight ahead as we get closer to the weekend on Legends 1027.